Hello, welcome to the Church of Fuck You. I'm St. Patrick. Well, there are some amazing people who walk this earth. Truly amazing. But no one is more amazing to me than a fucking hypocrite. You know the person who like smokes like two packs of cigarettes a day, they smoke like a chimney, their whole house smells like smoke, but they're the first ones to say, you know, they don't eat fast food because they put chemicals in that shit and you don't want to put chemicals in your body because that shit'll kill you. Or the people who say, you know, they hate homosexuality. Homosexuality is wrong. It's a sin. You're going to burn in hell. It is an abomination. It is horrible. Until it's girl on girl, then that's okay. Because I guess girl on girl isn't homosexuality? Hmm. Maybe you guys should look up the definition of a homosexual. Or my, one of my lovely people, or the lovely hypocrites that I, I just love to deal with are the religious people who say their religion is full of love and of compassion and forgiveness. And they, you know, express that love and compassion and forgiveness until you dare question their religion. Then they threaten to fucking kill you because you don't question their fucking religion. You don't question their fucking God. I'll kill you. I'll murder you in your sleep. I guess that's love. To, you know, people who are pro-life. I love the pro-life hypocrites. You know, they love... All children, all children should be born. All children should have a chance to live and thrive. And, and no child should be ever aborted. And they care about that child until the child is born. Then it's like, fuck you, cute, you're on your own. Really? So you don't want the child to be aborted. But if the child like starved to death, it's like, well, fuck it. You know, the child should have got a job. Maybe he should have got parents that, you know, actually could afford to take care of him. But, you know, that that's their logic. Go figure. I love the people who brag about not watching TV because the TV is stupid and it's dumb and it rots your brain and it's an idiot box, but then they turn around and spend like 12 hours in front of a computer watching TV shows because I guess watching te television on a computer isn't watching television? I guess that works. Uh, in, in their brain, that's their logic. I guess that works. To me, a little hypocritical. I love the anti-gun politicians. Oh, these are, I love these guys. Because they'll tell you how guns are evil and guns are bad and no one should have a gun, and but they won't walk out the house without being surrounded by a fucking SWAT team. So if guns are bad, why the fuck are you surrounded by an army of guns? And speaking on guns and how people are anti-gun, you know, I really find fascinating is that anytime a person is in trouble, the first thing they do is call a person with a gun. You know, I would love to hear a 911 call where someone calls to say, oh my gosh, someone broke into my house. You know, my life is in danger. You know, please send the police right away. But can you please tell them not to bring their guns? Because I don't believe in guns. So can you have them bring like pepper spray and a flashlight? And let's hope for the best. Right. We're anti-gun until your ass is in trouble. Then you want an army of guns to help you. Gotcha. Speaking of cops, I love the people who are pro-government. You know, pro-government, pro-government, they love the government, the government is a necessity, the government is all these wonderful things, but they hate the cops, they hate the legal system, the legal system is so corrupt and it's just garbage. They hate Congress because every politician is corrupt and bought off and paid off, and I hate to break this to you, but that's the fucking government. You can't pro be pro-government and advocate for the government while hating 95% of the fucking government. Pick, pick up the fucking side, please. I love, and I'm sorry to do this to you, but I love the 99%. I'm sorry, you know, I had to throw this in here. The 99%, you know, who hate the 1%. And I'm not saying all of them, but, you know, 99% who hate the 1%. They can't stand the 1%. Fuck the 1%. I hate, I can't stand them. Until that 1% is on their television, or until they pay, you know, say, 100, 200 bucks to go get a ticket to a sporting event to watch their 100%, that, you know, I'm sorry, to watch that 1%, shoot a basketball or throw a football, you know, it's all, fuck the 1%, I can't stand the 1%, fuck the 1% until the 1% has the ball in his hand, it's like, run, motherfucker, run, oh my gosh, I love this guy, he's the greatest in the world. So you hate the 1% that you don't hate? Can you clarify that one for me? Because I get a little confused when, you know, you want to throw everybody in a 1% category and you hate all the 1% because they're evil and they don't pay their fair share, but you cheer your fucking heart out when they swing a bat or throw a football or, you know, hit a golf club or whatever. Oh, I'm just, I'm just a little confused on that. Lastly, this is actually my all-time favorite. 
I love, absolutely love all the people who talk about how they hate Walmart because, and they hate McDonald's because they don't treat their employees fair and they're not right. And I would not support a company who do not treat their employees with respect and give them a living wage and are respectful and value their employees while at the same fucking time walking around with a goddamn iPhone or iPad and 95% of their clothes was made in some Chinese fucking sweatshop by some 12 year old making $2 an hour. So you don't like people or like companies that take advantage of their employees while at the same time supporting companies that take advantage of their employees. Pick a fucking side, you idiot. All right, man, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. This is St. Patrick. I'll see you later.